Welcome to Attitude Jumpstart. This is television for positive people. Here's our host, Mike Wolpert. Welcome to Attitude Jumpstart. This week we take a look at some people who have up attitudes in down times and we ask them specifically what they do, how they do it, so we can learn to do some of that ourselves. Richard Litfield is a family therapist for over 25 years who specializes in addiction recovery. Richard talks about overcoming fear, creating our own reality, staying present, and taking responsibility. I take responsibility for my thoughts because I am in this spiritual event in which my thoughts are creating my reality. If I wake up in the morning and I think I'm not a good person and the day is going to be bad and I project that into the machine of today, that's what I get back because I'm perceiving it. If I get up in the morning and I affirm that today is going to be a good day, that I'm safe and I belong to something that I don't have to regulate, all I have to do is stay present and have a positive attitude and do service, I have a very, very good day. So I'm mindful, which means I, I monitor my mind when I'm not using it. I'm spiritual, which means I'm part of one big event, an equal part of one big spirit. I don't understand the higher power or spirit, but I'm in it. And I understand I'm responsible for my relationship to spirit by way, the way I think and what I put into spirit, that's what comes back at me. If I put worry about a subject, that, that's what I get back. If I put a positive attitude about it, that's what comes back. There's divine interruption, which means sometimes things get interrupted that I want and they, they stop, I fail. It, I can't have what I want. It goes left instead of right. What I've learned to do about that is to go, oh, that's it. Simply, oh, and go in the direction it's heading and stay in the moment, stay out of fear, do the best I can, trusting this path is not going off the cliff. This path is heading to my destiny. It's a positive destiny. So in the morning, every morning I get up and the, well, the first thing I say to my wife is, welcome to today. And she says that back to me. Welcome to today. And we affirm that we're in the today because the next day that comes when we wake up is today again. So it's always today, it's always now. So the first thing I do is I set my intention by saying a prayer and planting myself in a spiritual spot on this path that I'm gonna stand in for the rest of the day and ask Spirit to send the day past me. And I harvest the day as it comes to me making my best decisions for the better of myself and everyone around me. So I'm not in charge. I am responding, not reacting. I am responding to the universe with my intuition in a very content, safe way. And that's how I start my day. If something comes at me and I'm in my spot and I like it, I take it to my heart. If I don't like it, I stay still and let it go around me. I don't engage in, any, I don't engage in negativity. I don't try to block it. I don't try to duck. I stand still because most of my fears don't come true. I stand still and let life come at me, setting my intention, making plans, doing the appropriate things. And so the whole idea is to stay in the spot and not move. If I run out of the spot in fear or because I'm greedy or needy, I'm like a quarterback running out of the pocket. I'm not safe. Stuff can get me. My belief is if I'm in my spiritual spot, that's the safest place to be in the day and just negotiate life as spirit sends it to me. As time has gone by, there are less and less times that I am fearful or trying to control something I can't control and getting angry. You know, fear is um, false evidence appearing real. It is a belief that of impending doom, of a negative outcome, of things going bad. I don't live in fear. I live in a belief of positive outcome. When I teach, uh, I say, you know, fear is a mile high and a mile wide. It's huge, but it's paper thin, and you can walk through your fear. So the whole idea is to walk through your fear. Courage is not being fearless. Courage is walking through your fear. Facing our fears, overcoming them, in fact, walking through them, monitoring what goes on in our brain and taking responsibility for our thoughts, setting our intentions, setting our spot in the day, 
These are some powerful life strategies from therapist Richard Lipfield. Thanks for watching Attitude Jumpstart. We'll see you next time when we'll have a whole new group of people who are powerful, positive, and motivated, and they'll share what they do with you. So you too can have a great attitude. You've been watching Attitude Jumpstart. Join us online at attitudejumpstart.com.